This is a quick tour of Satellite Safari. It's our new app for finding satellites in the sky. And so I'm going to launch the app by tapping its icon. And when it comes up, uh, you've got a globe of the Earth um, with the International Space Station, or ISS, uh, selected. It's also known by its Russian name, Zarya. And the orbit of the space station is shown with this green line here. And I can bring up some time flow controls. And we'll run the time forward by 10 seconds per step here. And as we're doing that, you can see the motion of the ISS around the Earth. And you can probably also see these other green dots moving. Well, those are other satellites, and I can tap on one of those to find out what it is. Um, its name is, well, it's an SL8RB. Um, I can tap the info button to find out more about it, and you get a description of the satellite here. You also get the facts and figures, its position and velocity over the Earth right now. Uh, but more importantly, you also get the times uh, when the satellite will pass overhead. Um, you'll notice that some of these passes are visible, some of them are not visible. Uh, most of the not visible passes are not visible because the satellite is passing overhead during daylight hours. Well, let's take a look at one of these anyhow. Um, we'll tap this uh, show event button to bring up sky view. And that's the path of the satellite, the orbit of the satellite overhead in, during daylight hours. And we'll just run this forward anyhow here. And as the satellite passes, um, as the Earth is turning, we're going underneath the satellite's orbit. Uh, we can make this a little clearer by turning off the daylight. So let me go to our settings here, turning off daylight. And now, without daylight, uh, the surface of our lake here has become translucent. So you can see the orbit of the satellite all the way around the Earth. Um, this is kind of a fun view here. I'll just center the satellite and uh, run the time forward. And again, from any point of view on the surface of the Earth, uh, the satellite is going to look like it's on the other side of the Earth most of the time. Well, you can also use this view to find out what other satellites you can look at in the sky right now. So I'll go back to our settings, turn on Show All Satellites for uh, sky view here. And there they are. Um, again, most of them are you know, under the horizon. They're on the other side of the world um, from our point of view. But if we look above the horizon, you can see the ones that are overhead. Um, so let's let's stop and I'll pick one of them. I think uh, SL8RB looks like a good candidate here. So there it is. And let's take a look at the view from that satellite. I'm going to switch to satellite view now. Okay, and so this is our rocket booster orbiting the Earth. This is what the satellite sees um, as it's orbiting. And we're, so we're moving into the night side of the, of the Earth here and the satellite will get shaded fairly soon. And uh, this is a great perspective that you really can't get unless you're an astronaut. Uh, we uh, hope you'll you know, have a good time exploring that possibility in our app right here. So again, here's the orbit of that satellite around the Earth. Uh, we're passing over Antarctica right now. Here's another view uh, which shows the satellite's motion. Well, this is ground track view. And uh, so what's going on here? Well, so the, again, the, the orbit of the satellite wraps the entire Earth. Um, this circle around the satellite is the visibility circle. Uh, that shows where the satellite will be visible. In other words, if you're standing inside that circle, you can see SL8RB. If you're standing outside the circle, you can't see it. So uh, again, as the satellite moves over different parts of the world, um, the location and the size of that uh, circle change as well. Uh, you can put cities on the map if you want to uh, sort of give yourself a sense of the geography here. We'll go to our ground track view settings, turn on cities. And, you know, if you don't like that day and night shading, we can turn that off too. So that gives you, you know, the entire world uh, stretched out on the map here. And so that's really the basic idea. Um, you know, we've got a few other goodies here. Um, there's a night vision mode uh, for those of you who want to go out and use this app to actually spot these guys passing across the sky. Uh, many of them are awfully faint, um, another, you know, sort of the brightness of faint stars. You might need binoculars to go see them. Um, and night vision mode will preserve your night vision uh, by turning the screen red while you're out there. Um, lots more in the app. Um, if you've got questions, um, there's pretty extensive help. Um, you know, orbit view help that describes how orbit view works. Uh, info help talks about all those facts and figures in the info page. And if you've got questions beyond that, feel free to give us uh, an email to info at southernstars.com. Uh, so we hope you have a lot of fun with Satellite Safari. It's uh, been a lot of fun writing it, and uh, right now it's on sale on the iTunes store for 40% off regular price, uh, $2.99, uh, regularly $4.99. Right now you're saving a couple bucks, and, well, we hope that's enough to get you outdoors and, uh, and to get the app. Uh, thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.